please don't try anything that you're about to see us do at home ever. Forget about portion control. We're ordering up a giant jumbo serve of supersized rocket car. It was the myth that launched the legend. Yeehaw! Our very first Mythbusters ever. Jato Rocket Car. And so the fun begins. Check out how fresh-faced Adam looks. But Jamie doesn't seem like he's aged a day. Could those robot rumors really be true? <laughs> The story that started it all was this. Supposedly, an Air Force sergeant strapped a JATO, or Jet Assisted Takeoff Unit, to a 67 Chevy Impala. On ignition, the car got up to a scorching 300 miles an hour when it hit a bump in the road. Launched into the air, he flew for one and a half miles until the side of a mountain brought his journey and himself to an end. When internal combustion just isn't enough. Before sending their cherry upholstery into the clouds, the guys need to conduct some tests. So Adam's going to make exact reproductions of Holly to scale. First, Adam pays a visit to our computer geek, Chris. I need to use Jamie's laser scanner to scan that and make it about two and a half feet long. Okay. Chris scans each of its surfaces with a laser. Then he transfers the information to a CNC machine, a computer-controlled mill, and inserts a block of sturdy foam. Dude. Wow. The CNC is one fine whittler. That is so awesome. Next, it's time for a ride in the vacuum form. My foam master is ready to mold. Uh, this is a piece of plastic. When it heats up under this heater, I will pull it down over the foam buck, and that will create my master pattern for the Impala bodies. That is lovely. Look at that. Now that's one hot-looking car. Adam makes multiple molds. I always like to vacuum form extra things when I'm going, because they're fun. Then Jess and Dennis do some custom detailing. We now have a perfect 1-6 scale model of both our original and our new Impala. Um, I've replicated the rocket structure on top that we put on it in episode one, and we are going to replicate the exact amount of thrust we had in episode one. We're going to add a ramp, and hopefully this scale test will tell us if the original rockets we had on our original Impala are enough to get that thing airborne. So how's the test going to run? At the go signal, I'm going to start the car towards the ramp. When it's about three quarters of the way towards the ramp, Eric will press launch. The car plus the rockets are going to take off, and uh, well, if everything goes right, they're going to fly over a thousand feet. Now to see if the ramp will give the guys the lift off they're looking for. Okay, in three, two, one. 